Hello and welcome to another update video about Solana. Solana reacted yesterday nicely to the next Fibonacci target at $79.50. That was well known, was on the chart or has been on the chart for a while. Here the 1.618 extension level, yeah. And um, yeah, we've reached that level. And um, so we've seen a small reaction and the price basically pulled back to the next or the previous FIB level at $71.26. So you see how these Fibonacci levels are guiding the price very well, actually. Um, and so far, the price hasn't been able to move above that next um, 79.50 level. And it doesn't need to. I mean, again, the top could be in. We have seen enough waves to the upside, but on the same, at the same time, extensions are always possible. Um, as I've been saying all week, we are focusing on higher prices as long as the support levels are holding. Basically, that tells us a lot about when we should change our perspective. Um, the support level until, um, well, until a few days ago was down here at $61, $62. That did hold and it therefore put the extension also in uh, to the next target. And then I've been saying to you that, okay, the first indication that a top is in place would be a break below $69. But I need to see a break in five waves below $69. Um, until then, we shouldn't really assume that a top is in place. So that keeps you away or that keeps you from, um, or that protects you from entering short positions prematurely, you could say. Yeah. Because, I mean, you can do what you want. You know, I'm not telling you when to enter a short position, but, you know, from an Elliott Wave point of view, if you want really a, a reliable setup, yeah, I mean, you can trade you know, trade it how you want it. But if you want a rela reliable setup for a short position, you typically wait for a five wave decline that breaks below support, a corrective rally into resistance. And that is then with a clear stop, your short position. At the moment, we haven't got both of that. So we haven't even got a break of micro support, which is the B wave low. Minimally, I need that broken. Better, of course, would be $63.70. Um, and we haven't got a five wave decline. I mean, anybody can see here that this is a three wave decline. That doesn't mean we couldn't go down further, but it's also not a high probability move that tells us, okay, top is likely in. Yeah. What could happen, for example, is that it's doing this. So this was obviously, as I've labeled it, an ABC structure, A, B, C. Um, and the idea was that the fifth wave here is an ABC structure. So if we say, okay, this was ABC, this could have completed the wave five and we might look at a downturn from here. But if the pullback is only corrective, yeah, then it definitely keeps the door open for an extension. And I, I mean, nothing is stopping the price from doing this. This was an A wave then because an A wave can be an ABC structure. This here is now a B wave, could also form a larger ABC, yeah. B, maybe touching that trend line again. And then we can see the C wave higher and it might even reach our $93 level. So just show you possible pathways and want to explain to you why it's worth just to go with a trend and not to enter short positions prem prematurely or why it's important not to assume a top is in place too early. I think what we're dealing with here is a situation where we have to say we are on high alert for a pullback. Yeah, um, we are on high alert for a pullback, but the market needs to tell us when it starts and we just need to be able to read the market signals. And until the market gives us any signal, you know, we just go with the trend and the trend is still up. The trend is never, not even a single, you know, um, low has been taken out here in the last few days. So we are, we are continuing to focus on higher. I think it just makes sense to just go with the trend and um, just be on high alert for a, for a top. Yes, but not assume it's happening until the first micro support is taken out. You know, very, very important. Because um, a lot of um, people just sort of enter short positions without a clear setup, which is fine. You can always short against the last high. I mean, it's always possible, but make sure you know when to get out. And also make sure that you understand that so far we haven't got a high probability setup to the downside. Now, the thing is, and that's something else to mention that obviously an A, I mean, if the pullback has started in wave four and if the larger wave four has started, 
well, it might not show a five wave move. An A wave can also be a three wave move. Now in these instances, you might never have a highly reliable short trade setup. But then we could wait for the A wave to complete the B wave corrective rally. And if the B wave is a corrective rally, then short the C wave. So if anybody, just giving you some ideas, right? Um, for potential setup. So it's normally about trading what's clear, not just trading for the sake of trading. Um, but either way, however you twist and turn it, um, it's the trend is still up and I give you the levels to watch really. And a break below the trend line might also here, this ascending trend line might also additionally suggest that the top has formed. It's cascading probabilities. First of all, I want to see that $69, no, it's one second. It's uh, yeah, $69 level taken out. Then I want to see the trend line break here. And then I want to see a takeout that $63.70 level. And then there isn't much left. I mean, yeah, taking out support levels will definitely, um, you know, add to the probabilities of an already unfolding fourth wave. Until then, the third wave can extend further. And if we see a break above yesterday's high, um, then I would assume that it can get to around about $93, which will be the next Fibonacci extension level on the Fib ladder here on the Fib scale, the 1.786. That's basically the next one. And above that, we've got $113. I think that's the way how to approach this market right now. Uh, not be overly optimistic because we are pretty much, I think that the highest probability element of this third wave rally has been done. But um, also not, you know, not be bearish anyway, because we would still even after the wave four, the forecast suggests one more high. Okay, so this is still a bullish wave count that suggests still higher prices, but that this wave four is just a potential that is here in the chart but not assuming that it started until we have the first signals. I think it's very, very much um, wise to keep a very balanced approach in the current market, not be overly optimistic, but definitely not be a bear. There are still bears out there. Can, we, can you believe it? I mean, I really don't know what's going on because there are still bears out there. I've been saying for weeks this market is overheated and we will come to new lows. And I mean, the market is to a degree overheated, but the masses haven't even come in. You know, it's um, that's basically a characteristic of the crypto market. It can get overheated and stay overheated for quite a while. Um, but yeah, I mean, within that market, obviously, a pullback would be healthy because it avoids that very, you know, that they get very much overheated too quickly. So yeah, but let's see. I mean, so far Solana still shows strength. We are seeing on the daily time frame bearish divergences. So sick. But again, they are only indicators, right? So they add to what I highlighted to you. The price would need to confirm that. So we have a lower high on the RSI on the daily. Um, and we have higher highs here on the price chart. Um, so on the daily, that's quite meaningful. But still, though, the price needs to confirm. An indicator always only indicates. Yeah, it only indicates and typically you see those bearish divergences towards the end of a third wave rally, for example, yeah, when we're in the fifth wave of a third, which I think we are. Um, so yeah, but again, you know, they can also be broken, those, those bearish divergences. So um, they're only an indicator and the price has to confirm. They, pay, they basically put us into alert mode, which we are. That's my update about Solana. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.